Well, Darren, when we were speaking a couple of weeks back, you were talking about wanting your players to play without fear, to find the confidence, the belief. You've got that now. I guess the, the key is just to, to carry on with it and make the most of it. Yeah, I think the key now is consistency and, and obvious, obviously results and, and performances. Um, that's what I said to the players on Monday morning. I said the performances have been good. I would say QPR in particular. Um, now we've got to find a way of, of finding a consistency to it and the players understand that. It must make the world a difference really with every element when you've got that confidence and belief it can be a fragile thing but when you've got it it's so powerful. Yeah it is and, and things change quickly in this league you know and you, you can get a couple of back to back wins which we've obviously got you get another win on top of that. things change quickly so but we, we what we need to focus on is why we've got the results what have we done different where have we improved? What are we doing better? I think they are the key elements to what you have to look at and, and hopefully continue it. Is there a sense psychologically as well, when you were in League One, you'd be going into every game expecting to win. It's a different sort of challenge in the Championship. To, to play as the club as a whole, you have to get used to the fact that if you do have a defeat, sometimes you just come up against a really good side and it's not the end of the world and the confidence and the belief should, should still remain. Yeah, but I feel that's absolutely the case and that's a message we were trying to get through to them, but we kept, we kept doing the same things away from home. We kept giving ourselves a mountain to climb, we concede and then concede so quickly after, and then it becomes a game that's too open and, and your confidence is, is, is gone a little bit. We had to get away from that, you know, and we, we did it all. Obviously, they equalised, but it didn't affect us. QPR went ahead, it didn't affect us. So I think that shows the players that, you know, we need to stay in games and not panic, especially when you've got 30 minutes to go in a game. There's so much that can happen. Yeah, because obviously you'll believe you can win this weekend, you'll want to win this weekend, but equally, I suppose the most important thing is you, you want to see that, that freedom, that sense of enjoyment, the confidence, the belief in the performance. Well, we're never going to see their full potential or ability if, if they don't play with that freedom. And you hope that the couple of results we've got um, gives them you know, the licence to go and do that. They certainly always get the licence to me to play with freedom in the right areas, play off the structure of what we want to play with. And when you get in that last third, you've got to make the correct decisions. And um, I felt even in the QPR game, there was times we could have made better decisions, but we certainly looked like we were creating a lot of chances which is which is really pleasing because the middles were getting frustrated me because I thought we were in control and I didn't think we played badly up until the last bit but that's a bit that matters that's the one that wins you and loses the games With Swansea obviously a, a manager you know really well in Russell Martin what do you make of them and, and where they're at? Well, I think they're a very good team I think Russell's done a good job he's obviously wants his team to play a specific way it hasn't changed from being at Milton Keynes to go into Swansea to play exactly the same way and you know he's he's done well at Milton Keynes and, and got the opportunity to go to Swansea a very good club um, so it'd be a difficult game real possession based team real things we'll have to do well as, as, as usual but in particular we, we've just worked on today uh, but another game we feel that if we can get consistency in, 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 a, in a performance or get a performance and it, we, we've got possibilities of getting a result yeah, it's one of the things that you always say about a manager having that that sense of purpose and identity, and and Russ has really got that, hasn't he? In terms of yeah, with MK Swansea, you can you can see all of the connections there. Yeah, and, and look, it's, it takes strong management to do it to to not change regardless. You know, they didn't start the season ever so well, but they've got going a little bit. And I know they lost last week. I watched the game. It was you know it was a game they could have won. So. I think Russell's deserved a chance to get into management. He's also, I, I felt with Russ, with the, having him as a player, I felt he was a type that would be a manager. And now I'm pleased he's doing well and it'd be good to catch up with him. Is Jack Taylor all right after last weekend? Just seemed to be hobbling a bit as he came off. No, it was just fatigue. He's absolutely fine. Um, third game in a week for him. It was always going to be tough, but he, I thought he was excellent. I think he's back to his best. Um, I've been delighted with him since he's got, like I said, all along, got to a level of fitness that requires him to put the performances in that he's, he's capable of doing. Yeah, it's been a big factor, hasn't it, in that I think three of your four wins he started, the fact that he's played a big part over the last week or so, and presumably you feel as he continues to build fitness and 
settle into championship level, he can get better and better. No, oh, absolutely. He, he's caught with this level. You know, he, he, you know, he's missed thirty percent of our games, and uh, or even more than that. But he's top player, and now you, you've got him up to speed. You can see. I mean, he, he is so quick. He's probably one of our quickest players, uh, and and he's now getting up to that box to box running, running off people, passing and running past them. I've been absolutely delighted with Jack. He's you know, long may that continue. Yeah, he's got that that blend really of everything you want from a midfielder. We know he's had the injuries in the past, yeah. and we know it it lingered a bit. Are you happy looking at all of the data that where he's at, at the moment? It's it's ticking all the boxes, and he's okay. Yeah, he seems fine. I mean, Touchwood obviously he seems fine. He seems uh, his recovery has been good. He's trained very well. Constantly, people asking him and myself asking him, "Are you fine?" In terms of how does he feel fatigue wise? Not you know we can watch him with our eyes. And he, he says he feels really good. With further injuries, without giving too much away, is, is everything looking okay for the weekend? Yeah, well, obviously Jono's back um, from his suspension, which is good news. Uh, Kwame's back uh, from his injury, which is again good news. And I think that's about it. You know, you just you've got Ricky and Joel not far away now, so we're getting bodies back, which is going to be important. Rich Johnson, is it uh, a sense of being a bit of a reset? moment because we know the first part of the season for a variety of reasons has been tough for him do you think now he can just have that clear space to crack on well yeah he's had plenty of time to, to analyse how he's done in the f- opening period of the season uh, I think the thing with the suspension was hanging over him so I think it was a bit of a relief mentally to get that out of the way he's obviously watched us in, in the last four games but he brings something different to what we're, we've been starting with he's totally different to what we've got in terms of the forward players and how they, they play. So it's good to have a different type of option which Jono brings and you know it's up to the boy to, if I select him, make sure he stays in the team or if he, I don't select him, try and get back in the team and do all he can. It's the same as every other player but you know he's trained well and he's he looked good the other day, he got a goal and set up a goal so that's all you can ask for. Presumably Birmingham would be the best example of him really using his skill set so far this season? No, I think he's, I think some of the home games he's in particular has been Cardiff, West Brom and, and Birmingham have been good because um, he's a handful you know and sometimes players like Jono he, he depends on his teammates to create chances for him you know we've seen that he'll score goals if you get the ball in the box you have to play certain in certain areas and that's in the box for Jono you know he's, his strengths in the, in the penalty box so if you don't keep the ball well enough and don't get up the pitch enough you're not going to do that and it won't suit him so you know, when when he comes back, we have to find a way. Yeah, and full credit to Sami and Sarik. You had this job of playing up front together, and circumstance played a, a part in that. They've done really well, particularly last weekend. And as a manager now, it's a, a much better situation to be in. You you could have been in the scenario of really wanting to get Johnson straight back in, but you've now got a a good decision to make, and it it just takes the the pressure off in that sense. Yeah, they've, they've been great. They've been great. The the way they've performed, the way they've created chances, scored goals. Uh, Sammy, Sariki and, and Granny have been good. Uh, very good. And defensively, very good. Uh, pressed at the right times, made sure teams have not played through us. Uh, made sure the structure of the team stayed intact. So I've been delighted with them. But you've, you've also got to remember we've got, you know, I've just mentioned Kwame's been injured. Joel Randall is going to be a really good player for us. He's been out you know, for a long time. Ricky's actually he's hardly kicked a ball, he's been out all season. We've had other players missing in, in those areas, you know, in, in the formation we're playing at the moment, they would fit straight into it. So we have to we have to remember this and, and the come we get out of the Knicks international break, if they're all back fit, then that's that can only be good for us. Yeah, suddenly if it goes to plan, having had that basis of Sariki and Sammy and what they've done then if you can bring Johnson back in and then the others coming back from from injury, it makes that whole process just a bit easier to work with, doesn't it? It does, because all of a sudden you've got Joel that can play either side. Yeah, you've got Kwame can play either side. You've got Ricky who'll play up the middle. You've got John who'll play up the middle. You've got m- so many more options. And at the moment, I haven't got enough options. You know, For example, last weekend, I only had 18 players. So it's important that I get all these players back because once this uh, international breaks over it's a, a hell of a schedule because the next one's not till March. 